I grew up in New York. Um, that's where I'm from. I was born in New York City, and then a little later, I moved to Brooklyn and lived there until I was 17 years old. And while I was in Brooklyn, um, my mom raised me in church. I always, I went to church ever since I was a baby. And my mom played the piano in church, so I had a chance to hear what she sounded like, and I started picking up things from her. I happened to be around the piano a lot, so it gave me a chance to develop what I needed to do. Didn't have my first piano lesson until I was five years old. Had a chance to get a scholarship to go to Ohio, and I went to Oberlin College in Ohio and majored in music there. And I was there for a five-year training. So it was a great year. My childhood years were great, and I thank God for it. On Sundays, I play for three church services. I call it a sandwich. And the reason why I call it a sandwich is because I play for one church at 8 o'clock, play for another one at 10 o'clock, and then go back to the first service, which is the 11 o'clock. So, so if you're trying to figure out what I mean, the bottom of the sandwich, which is the, which is the bread, is the 8 o'clock service. The filling that you get on the sandwich is the 10 o'clock service. And in the top part of the sandwich, which is the top part of the bread, you get that at 11 o'clock. It's fun to play different types of music. I love playing it all. I love the pop. Easy listening is my favorite. Um, rock and roll is all right, but the only thing I don't like about it is that when you're playing rock and roll on the piano, it limits you. But gospel music is my priority. I was raised on gospel music. I grew up with it. And it's the foundation of my life. And thank God for my mom and for her first husband that raised me up in the church and listening to gospel music on the radio. It means a lot to me because gospel is the Word of God. Read, uh, reading the gospel and listening to it, telling about what Christ has done in your life, and also worshiping Him makes a world of difference in our lives. So gospel music is my priority, and it's a very good foundation for me. All of the Bibles are, in, are free of charge to anyone that is blind, totally blind, or visually impaired. So if you want God's Word and you're having trouble trying to read, you can listen to it anytime, day or night. Thank God for Aurora Ministries using this as an outreach.